Hi there, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me today. I do hope everybody's doing well. Ah, the art exhibit. We are going to concentrate on that. Try and complete it. But first, I thought I'd show you our haul from the video before where we did the star so that I could get the miles. And we did pretty good. I was surprised at how many uh, Leo fragments from so few stars being. <laughs> and do you know that two nights later there was another star event and it was crazy. Every 15 minutes I was getting six and seven stars. Anyway, here we go. We're going to start now. This took two days. And this is what I gathered the first day. I started at around 3 o'clock in the afternoon after I finished my video upload. And I went until about 12.30 at night. And that was all I got. Oh, and you're going to hear the sump pump. I cannot. I'm just going to talk through it. Wild, wild weather. Crazy weather. First time we've ever had a tornado warning take cover immediately. Siren. A little scary and the streets are a mess <laughs> there are there's garbage and branches and everything all over the place I was I you can see them coming you know for a good half hour 45 minutes before it even arrives and I was working on my this no well, not this video the next video and this was even before the siren went off. <laughs> but I was concentrating on what I was doing and my fan just blew right out of the window. <laughs> it almost hit me on the knee and then the curtain came right up in my face and I'm like, what do you wish? Yikes. The wind was horrifying. But we had 80 and 90 mile an hour gusts. But see, I'm fascinated by this stuff because I love a good thunderstorm. I like to be outside. I know that's dumb. So I went outside and I was watching it for a while and then one particular lightning flash went off and I saw something I did not want to see. So I went immediately in the house and I said, everybody downstairs. And we hunkered down and that was about two seconds before the alarm went off. It was crazy. Anyway, I'm so sorry, Blathers. I hate waking you up. I'm so sorry. But it is 5 o'clock in the morning. One of my biggest fears while I was doing this uh, was that I was going to not like this song anymore, but it didn't happen. And two of these things made me very nervous. That's why I'm handing them in. I just wasn't sure about it. The rock face scared me and Mona Lisa. It's like I guarantee you I, I bought those wrong. And then you saw there that the rock head just looked like it was smiling regardless. I'm like, I can't tell the difference. But they all turned out to be genuine. Every single one of them, I was stunned. I did not buy one false <laughs> artwork. So that was a good thing. So that's why I ended up doing this. I, I was just really, I'm like, I guarantee you I screwed this up. And now I'm going to have to wait until the real one comes. But this first day was, wow. Just hours and hours and hours of, oh my gosh. And then the second day was much different. And that was surprising as well. That was another surprise for me because I thought, well, my goodness, if the first day was this bad, can you imagine what the second day is going to be like? Because usually games do the holdout thing, right? You need one more item to complete. So it takes you six months just to get the item. And by then you don't even care anymore. I thought that was going to be the case here, but it turned out not to be. Every time I got another statue, I'm like, oh my gosh, now I'm going to have to wait two hours. And then I'd get another statue and I was like, well, now I'm going to have to wait five or six hours for the next one. It didn't happen. So... That painting was the last painting I needed. And it never had the hat. It just never had the hat. I'm like, oh, come on. 
And then that big tall Moen statue. I needed that and the painting had the hat as well. And I'm like, well, what do I do? But I was desperate for the statues. The statues were taking me the longest. And this was the only painting that I kept having hold out for. <laughs> but I got it. So I was very pleased. I suppose I could have used a timer, but I, you know, turning it off and on to get up to go to the bathroom or go make a dinner or take a break for a couple hours. It, I don't know how. You know, I'm not an expert and I don't have editors to help me with that. So I apologize if that seems like a silly thing to do. <laughs> but he finally doesn't have a shovel. I didn't show you everything I did, but I probably saw this guy at least seven or eight times. And he always had the shovel. So I was very happy with that. And here's another weird one. I'm positive that on previous islands, my villagers have on occasion given me an artwork. But I, I, I'm telling you right now, as far as I can remember, with a good amount of clarity, is, see now this was another one, I'm sorry. It said that her, her leg has to be in a certain position, but she has to be looking down. And I'm like, she's not looking down, but her leg's in the right place. Is this the real deal? I don't know. But it was always the big hipped one with the wrong leg any other time. So I took a chance and I'm like, I'll get this, but I'm telling you, she's not looking down. She's lo just looking straight, you know, ahead. So I was nervous. And this, oh my gosh. If I had to sit through one more of Isabel's long winded, because I always went to the next day, picked up the art, and then went back to the previous day to get more art. Maybe that was a mistake. It was part of the reason it took so long. But I'm worried about this statue. I did not think that it was correct because, as I said, I was using a website that showed the real versus fake. And it said that her leg should be in the, I believe that's the left position, and she should be looking down. And that threw me. So we're going to go and hand in what we have again just to make sure I don't have to keep looking for this beautiful statue. But I go to the next day, I pick up the art, I put it in my inventory, and then I go back to the previous day and I continue the cycle all over again. And my luck. The first day is bad enough because she gives you the cautionary tale speech every day that the art guy's there. And then the next day, Gulliver was on the beach. And that's another one of her long-winded speeches. So every single time I had to sit through two of those and it's like, oh, Isabel. Hey. So let's hope that this beautiful statue is correct. Please say yes. Yay! Okay. So, I put too much faith in websites, and I should know from experience that that's not a good idea. <laughs> and the weird thing is, is I tried to get the actual photos on the internet, as opposed to the Animal Crossing websites that do it. Because some of them have really grainy, fuzzy pictures. And the one I was using, it was kind of cute. It would say, click to enlarge, and then you click on it, and it's the exact same size. <laughs> it's like, that's not helping me. But it was cute. So anyway, everything turned out to be, okay, I did not buy a single, well, okay, I'm not gonna say that. I didn't buy a single fake piece for this exhibit. But I deliberately buy two fake pieces for just to decorate around the island. I could not believe the Rosetta Stone there. I have never 
Well, every time it's been here, which was dozens of times, it was always blue, 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 blue. Like I'm never gonna see the Rosetta Stone, am I? And there it is. Shocking. And this was toward the end. I was stunned. All of a sudden, it was like everything started to fall into place. And I'm like, this is not how video games are supposed to work, is it? I was surprised. So, very happy with that. So yeah, the last statue is the Tinkle statue, and there's the Tinkle. And he's not holding a book. And that was not even... It was 5 o'clock when I got the Rosetta Stone. And it was 5.25 when I got him. And this is in real time. So I... Wow. I just... I was expecting to be here until midnight on the second day just like the night before. And it didn't turn out that way, so I was very, very pleased. So the museum, if I did everything correctly, should be done. Yay! This is a first for me. I've never done this. And I know, you know, you could have done it dozens of times, but... <sighs> I started getting superstitious. Every time the game showed me one of my villagers walking around at five o'clock in the morning and then you'd start the game up and there's nobody, everybody's still in bed. I wouldn't get anything, but every time they showed me Cap'n lounging there in his boat, I got something. <laughs> and I don't, I'm not a superstitious person. And I'm sure there were at least a few times when Cap'n showed up and I didn't get anything, I just, you know, it didn't register. So, these are the last two items that go to the museum. Up till this point, there was just a slight feeling of trepidation and dread in the pit of my stomach, like, there's got to be a way that I've screwed this up. Something's gonna happen, and it's gonna say, sorry, you're not quite done yet. So I was, uh, I was afraid to go in here. I'm like, all this time, all this effort, all this frustration and aggravation, and something's gonna go wrong. I just know it. By the way, I just thought I'd ask, did anybody else dress up their character to coincide with the weather that's actually outside your door? Because <laughs> yesterday was unbearable. Oh my gosh. The real field temperature outside was 106, and the humidity was 90%. I was just dripping. It was horrible. All right, here we go. Yeah. I just, I'm so afraid that they're going to tell me I did something wrong. Come on, Blathers. I'm sorry I wake you up in the morning. Yay! Ta-da! <laughs> And the weirdest thing is that I actually felt something. <laughs> the sense of accomplishment. Holy smoke. It's been a long time since I felt that. Because I'm the type, you know, you gotta drag me kicking and screaming into things. But I do do it. But <laughs> I'm like the little third grader having to run around the gym crying. I don't want to do this. But she continues to run. I don't want to do this. <laughs> That's me. So we did it. So happy. Ah, we accomplished it. Oh, I thank you so much for sticking with me to the end of this video and for your continued support of my channel. Thank you. Like the video if you did. Subscribe if you're interested. Take very good care of yourselves. Have a fantastic day. And I will see you in the next one. <laughs> I'm so happy. Oh, I'm so happy. Now, it's going to be a while before I do another one of these. I need a break. I really need a break. You take care now. Bye-bye.